Hello? Dylan? Robert. Uh, do you see anything different? Oh, uh, it, it looks different. It looks... It does. It looks better. That's because I put a whole bunch of work into, uh, getting these graphics settings right on this, uh, PlayStation 2 emulator. Turns out, I didn't have anything set right. <laughs> okay, so, uh... <clears throat> we had this little thing in reverse. Yeah, I had it in reverse. One thing I am going to do is... Turn that down just a little bit, because it is a little bit loud. Okay. And so, it's been two nights ago since we recorded part one. Mm hmm And, uh, do you remember what we did? I do. We went through the apartments, uh -huh. and then we met, uh, we met Angela and, oh, uh, Pukey McPukerson. Yeah, we met Pukey. And, and, uh, Mr. Spooky. <laughs> yeah. And we left off meeting, uh, the, the clone here. Maria. Yeah, Maria, not... What was the other one's name? Mary? Mary. Yeah, Mary. It wasn't Mary. It was a Mary. Nah. We got Mary's double here. Her looks like. Yep. And now we're gonna go off on a Mary little adventure. A Mary adventure. <laughs> to look for Mary. Alright, you see? See what I did there? Mary. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh. Right now. We are, again, going through the streets of Silent Hill, which are even harder to see since I fixed the, uh, the graphics. <laughs> and, um, we're just gonna go, go past all these monsters, and we should be approaching Pete's Bolorama. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, over here, it's, it can be easy to overlook, but... There's a steel pipe, and it is better. Ah, it. it is better than the plank that we've been using through the whole game. <laughs> okay, three foot long steel pipe, not very destructive, but good range. Yeah, we like range. We do like range. So now we're gonna go to the bowling alley, right? Yes. You wanna do some some cool bowling? Yeah, you can see my cool bowling tricks. Yeah. What's he looking at? Also, a little bit of low frame right here. I may have to uh, go into the settings in a little bit and fix that. But, okay, where are we? we? Get a little mixed up here. Oh, okay. Just gotta go forward and then to the left and we should be at the parking lot. And right now, if you recall, um, he realized that there's the special place that was mentioned in Mary's letter was the, um, the, uh, Lakeview Hotel. Oh, right. And that is basically our goal right now, but since it is Silent Hill, we can't just immediately go there. <laughs> Let's so take the roundabout way. We're gonna take a little detour. Is this the door? Yep. Welcome to Barney's Bowl Rama! I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Okay. <laughs> They're talking so slow because the frame rate's messed up. <laughs> Alright, she's not she doesn't want to go in because she hates bowling, and also I'm gonna pause here and pause the recording and fix that real real quick. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look as good as it just did, but I think it's it, this looks pretty good. It's the um yeah. These are the original PS2 textures here, but um, we have it stretched to widescreen now. Well, it's not its not even stretched, it's just upscaled. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. <gasps> Pukey. Okay, what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Huh, you're just a gutless fat so. <laughs> What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were out for you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, 
Why don't you just say you're sorry? Well, I guess I run away a lot too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. All right, there's some more plot there. Nobody will ever forgive Eddie for something that he did. But the cops are not after him. What's your name, Derek? Oh, for, uh, for his murder? Uh, this is a different situation he's talking about. This this could be why he's at Silent Hill. Oh, okay. Now, he did kill that person in the, in the apartments, but this is not why he's there. This happened, you know, in Silent Hill. Oh, prior to Silent Hill. Okay. So, right. he was talking about how the police are not after him. He just ran away because he's scared, and no one will ever forgive him for what he did. Hmm. He stole that pizza. He stole the pizza. <laughs> Eddie? Oh, um, you're... James. We met in the apartment building? Yeah, I remember, but... Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. <laughs> That's a bowling ball. I rolled that ball. You said this town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? <laughs> she said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. <laughs> yeah, well, I got pizza, so who's winning? <laughs> <laughs> I think Eddie has the right idea. He does. Like, there's nothing down there. Like, you take a horror movie and you've got all the characters running around trying to do stuff. Just sit down and eat some pizza. I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Okay, so we know a little bit about all the characters introduced. Well, except for um, Maria and Laura. Hmm. Uh, we know nothing about Laura. No. We got a pretty good idea on Angela, but uh, Eddie's still kind of... Yeah, there's there's something up with Eddie. Um, yeah. Angela, uh, I'll say again, you were you were kind of getting there. Did a little girl talk about here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you going to go after her? Okay, so now we're going after Angela. She went down this way. <laughs> then we go down this way. Angela. <laughs> Angela. She went through that. Or Laura. That's who we're looking for. <laughs> or Laura. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> we both did it. <laughs> I, I got all mixed up talking about all these characters is at once. Is there any other way? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Right through there. Oh. The spooky building. So we can get through here. It's no good. It's locked. Where's she taking those out of? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> okay, so she has the keys to this place. But where are we? <laughs> that lock is broken. Mm. 
very dingy place. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, strip club. Yes, so she has the keys. I wonder why. <laughs> I just need to free. It's Heaven's Night. Heaven's Night. It's hmm. a uh, pretty good name. Yeah, it's not bad. Get up on that pole, James. Okay. <laughs> it's a regular stage, there's nothing strange about it. <laughs> okay, so where are we now? So we went around. To the exit. Okay, that, that where that street was blocked, we can now go south. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> where we have to go, really our ultimate goal is over here at the Historical Society. Because that... So See the boat launch. That's how to get across Toluca Lake. Huh. Okay. So as soon as you find the crow, you'll be able to do it. What was that? As soon as you find that girl, you'll be able to go there. Uh. Well, right now our our goal at this moment is to fi figure out who she is and where she went. But. Mhm. Mm they could be separate. There she is. There. She's going into the second main area of the game. Is that a hospital? It is a hospital. Okay. Brookhaven Hospital. We got a map of the hospital. Start checking these doors. We're in a whole new area, Dylan, and I, I like this area. Yeah, something about hospitals, they're already creepy, so. Yeah, they're, they're creepy by default. Yeah, let's make it even creepier. Okay, check a lot of those doors. No. Is Mr. Spooky in here? I don't know, Dylan. I bet he is. You think Mr. Spooky might show up? I, I'm pretty sure he will. Okay. Uh, did I check all the doors here? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't check a lot of them. How did I miss? What did you miss all those doors for? How could I? The nerve. Nerve. All right. Safe spot. Oh, I thought I saw someone over there. Then <laughs> you oh, yeah. flashlight where it was her. Yeah, she uh, <clears throat> she has like a set position in every room where she kind of spawns at. Oh, okay. Sometimes she may startle you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got the health drink. Move, would ya? Okay, I don't think I need her to move. Okay, what I actually need is to be right there. There's something written on that typewriter. <clears throat> the potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there's no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders of where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. <clears throat> I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that, to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. 
but to him there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. The purple bull key. Mm. So yeah, that's a little bit of a... Uh, I believe that's some uh, talks about just how Silent Hill may or may not work. Right. Because uh, it does explain Silent Hill pretty well there. <laughs> <clears throat> and we got the purple bull key, which is the first key that we need to get. Yay! Yeah. There was only one locked door, I believe it was this one. Nope, that's not it. Uh, oh, the stairs. I skipped the stairs, which are right over here. Right there. Aha! See, I know what this video game is. <laughs> let's, let's get up to the second floor. Oh, it's getting spooky in here. Okay, new enemy. What's that? That's a nurse. <laughs> and again, there's a reason for that design, which I would go into, but there's some spoilers that have not been mentioned. Okay. There's a magazine here. What else? <clears throat> I will I will say that there are different endings to this. Examination room key, by the way. There are different endings to this, and one... Uh, it's sort of like combinations of endings and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And one, one thing... You can, like, bump her around and push her out of the way. And that will determine one of the endings you get. Really? It's um, how you treat Maria. Huh. Um, also, uh, depending on how fast you go through the game, uh, you'll get a certain ending. So how many endings would you say that there are? Uh, I just pricked myself. I'm not exactly okay? sure. Not, not too yeah. many since it was PS2. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember the exact amount. It's been a while. I got the bent needle. It was in that stuffed animal there. There's a shotgun in the locker. Yeah! Now we got a shotgun, Dylan. That's usually a bad sign, too. Well, on this difficulty, we don't exactly need a shotgun. I think I, the last time I played through this, I didn't even use it. We're already in here. Uh, what about this door? Nope. So let's just... Oh, there's some more... Spooky music. I don't like it. Ah! Whoa! Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> beat her up. But really, um, the reason that, depending on, on how fast you get to the end, uh, determines anything is because it's, uh, it is a psychological game, and it pretty much determines how persistent you are, and how badly you want to find out what happened to Mary. So is that how you get the best ending? Um, or is there a best ending? It's, it's really up to interpretation. Like, the, the my favorite ending, and I believe some people would call it the true ending, I don't think I've gotten it, but it is my favorite ending. Hmm. There's a typewriter here. I've got no use for this. Wait a minute. What's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on it. I know it. I know the number of the box. 4234. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't 
it doesn't scare me so nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am is who I am is who I am is. <laughs> okay, Dylan, uh, could you, uh, be a deer and write down four, two, three, four? I got memorized. Okay, well, it, it may, it may take a minute before we get there. That's fine. Four, two, three, four? Four, two, three, four. All right, well, why not? I usually write it down, but four, two, three, four. I believe it's down in that last room. There's something down there. There it is. There it is. I'll just go through this door anyway. She's like, there's something I else. I'm fat. Four, two, three, four. <laughs> A real four two three four, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you heard about the four three. Oh, I've heard Dylan, that. No. You heard about the four two three fours. Oh yeah. Watch like out for those four two three four boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lock's broken on that door. That door is broken. That door is broken. Get away, you spooks! I'm going to flap your pillow! <laughs> Sponge bath! <laughs> four, two, three, four! <laughs> ah. Did I check all the doors? Oh, I didn't check two. And then there's the day room. That's the most important room. Yeah, it's the one that you can only go into in the daytime. Yeah. Wait. Now one more. This way. The lapis eye key. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Eye is carved into the top of the key. Iris part is made of lapis lazuli. Lazuli. Okay, we have the examination room key, purple bowl key, lapis key, burnt or bent needle. We get we're having a bunch of little uh, key items here. Yeah, I know where to use them. All right, let's go yes. to the examination <clears throat> room. Where would that happen to be? There's the third floor. There's an exam. Three other room. There's a four, a two, and a three, and a four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh. So let's go up another floor, since we have explored that one pretty well. Welcome to the third floor, Dylan. Oh yeah. Hope you enjoy your stay. There's something in here, though. It's Maria. Oh, there's a thing. I don't four, think two, is, three, four. that's not right. That, 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 that is another code that we have to get. Oh. Th this game steps it up with its puzzles in this. Oh boy. Scary. And it's usually just one weak enemy. For, yeah. For all that scariness. Nothing. Whole bunch of junk blocking that door. Nothing there. Okay. 
Okay, so let's uh, check all these okay. rooms. Yeah. Oh, but we can't. Because of the code. You can go in the special treatment room. Can we? Mm -hmm. Where's that? Oh. Yep. This, yeah. Behind you to the left. Yeah. Sometimes these these rooms are easy to overlook. And it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> So, let's just get a quick little overview here. Two locked doors. The elevator, I know, doesn't work, so I'm not going to bother. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with here. So, you think we can go up another yeah. floor? Yeah, let's try. Oh, that's the, that is the roof, and it's locked. So let's go back all the way down to that locked room on the first floor. Okay. The uh, examination room. <laughs> and that is over here, I think. Yep, it was. I stopped right at it. <laughs> Get it again. Uh, there's another door there. Ooh. What were they examining in here? Ooh, I don't know. Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Thanks, <and> stuff. <laughs> Thanks. I think I just unlocked the, uh, yeah, it's pretty much a shortcut there. I believe there's something that I need in here. There has to be. Yeah, there really does have to be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what am I missing, Dylan? Mm hmm. I don't know. not be in this room, but I think there's something in the next. Food only. Do not store the drugs. <laughs> Don't put your 420s into my containers. Don't put your 4234s in there. <laughs> oh. Third floor ah. patient wing hall. 7335. See, this is why I said to write it down. <laughs> I got him a rest. <laughs> okay, seven three three five. That's on the third floor. Seven two four five. No. Seven three three five. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> yup. I don't care if there's a monster there. Seven three four five. Seven three three five. <laughs> Seven three two five. <laughs> I don't remember the first code. <laughs> you don't? What was it? Was it Seven three four five. Seven yeah. two one. Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I don't think it was, Dylan. <laughs> sure it was. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> nah. Nah. should rest. Mm. <laughs> so comfy. I'm gonna go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. 
Oh. That doesn't look comfy. It doesn't, <laughs> but it's. I'll be okay soon. <laughs> it's gotta be. Did you find more? I meant to get the roof key, Dylan. Yeah. There's a monster down there. I see you. I don't think I've gotten hit once. You say that, and then you're gonna get hit. Yeah, I don't think I have. What's this? There's something stuck in the drainage pipe. Hmm. The hole's too small, I can't get my hand inside to reach it. Maybe if I had a long, narrow tool of some kind. Looks like an ear. <laughs> There's an ear in there, Dylan. <laughs> I will tell you that we have some of the uh, items that may help, but we don't have all of the items yet. What else do we need? We need one more thing hmm. to uh, to get that out of the pipe. Oh, we got the bent uh, needle. Uh huh. What else do we have? Um. What else? What else do we have? We have that the needle, the lapis eye key, oh, right. purple bowl key, roof key. So, and you see, some of these have combined on them. Mhm. Mm so. Let's check out the roof and see if there's anything up there. Oh yeah, there might be. Let's uh see if there's any more rooms we can go through here, and then we'll uh, get up on that old roof. Ah, the range. Okay. Ah. What is that? Something written on the wall. Louise, I'll take care of you for ever. <laughs> it's my destiny. No, it's my destiny. Okay, nah, 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 nah. Okay, this is a extremely locked box. <laughs> well, what will our codes work for? Uh, what was the first combination? Um, four, two, three, four. Was it? Yeah. Let's try it on here. Four, two, three, four. That didn't work. Hey. Okay. Well, there's there's one down, and it looks like there's two to go. So let's uh see if we can unlock some stuff. With uh, let's try the lapis eye key. Okay. Another one down. Another one down. Uh, and then there's the purple bull key. That would probably go in the... Yeah. Yeah, that one in the middle there. And all that's left is this combination, which we will find soon. Let's try and guess it. That's thousands of combinations, Dylan. I don't think we have time. Oh. Not with that attitude. <laughs> not with any attitude. <laughs> I've solved many a video game puzzle just by guessing. Breaker. <laughs> I'm a I'm a renegade. But for now, let's just go on the roof. I raised the roof. <laughs> okay, let's see what's on this roof. Why is it so dark? Hey, there's something over here. Is this a diary? May 9th, rain. Started, uh, stared out the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. May 10th. Still raining. 
talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic, weak, not everyone can be strong. May 11th, it may rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm, I'm a bother either way. Can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? <clears throat> Some people may say so, but they don't. What was that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, uh, that was my phone. My dramatic reading, Dylan. I'm banning you from the channel. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. May 13th. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released. That I've got to go home. I... And then there's just a long line. Interesting. Diary ends here. No more entries. What was it doing up here? Okay. Well, so. you could have written it and then jumped off the roof. I suppose so. There's a door here. That didn't work. There's a metal. Maybe if I push hard, if I can move one. Ah! 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 What is that? It's Mr. Spooky! Why is Mr. Spooky hanging out on the roof? <laughs> does does he just frequent hospital roofs? I think he does. Okay. So let's look around. there's anything in there. And, oh, it's the special treatment room, Dylan. Ooh. I actually that's think... Where you, that's where you go for uh, special treatment. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I knew that there was something on that wall. Six, Turn. five... Oh, sorry. Oh, well, is that, is that six, five, six, five? I think so. We got an easy code. Yeah. Turn, turn, turn. The numbers... Better not forget them, so I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. So, 6565. Five. Easy enough. Ah. <laughs> Almost got hit. Yeah. our treasure, Dylan. <sighs> what? Nothing inside the box. What? No. There's, there are a few hairs inside. Oh. Dylan? What? We got a piece hair? of hair. Welcome to Silent Hill, Dylan. We got a piece <laughs> of hair. That's, that's a terrible reward. <laughs> we used so many keys and combinations to get that piece of hair, Dylan. We better do something great. Don't you ruin my victory. <clears throat> so, I suppose we should go into this room here. The piece of hair is what we needed. Oh, yeah, when you... When you, uh, fall through that... That roof, you're next to dead. <laughs> I forgot. Let's just, uh, heal up. Uh, oh, oh, well. Didn't need that, but... So let's uh, combine the piece of hair with the bent needle. 
and then use. Would you ever think of that, Dylan? No. <laughs> no, I can honestly say I wouldn't. And what is this? Elevator key. Now what's it doing down there? Silent Hill put it there. Was someone taking a shower and decided to take the elevator key in there with them? <laughs> okay, now we're in the elevator. Where should we go? Floor Ooh. one, perhaps? Me as well. And then we should be... Yes, we are on the other side of floor one, where we haven't been to yet. Ah. There's a whole lot a whole lot of more stuff. Ooh, cool. We're just trucking right along with this one. While it is more complicated, it seems uh, they shortened it because of how complicated it was, I guess. <laughs> Shotgun shells. What else do we have here? Handgun bullets. Ooh. And the thing about Pyramid Head, <clears throat> hasn't it seemed like he's he he uh, hasn't done anything to directly kill James? I'm, I'm sorry. Who who are you referring to? Mr. Spooky. Oh, right, okay, yes. Okay, well. <laughs> no, he, he really, well, I mean, he pushed you off the roof, but. But he did lead me to the right spot. Right. At the same time. Laura? We found Laura. Huh? Girl. You know my name? Eddie told me. Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. <laughs> I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. Last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? <laughs> wait, wait! There's something I gotta get! Later, okay? But it's really important! What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes! Yes! She's gonna lock you in there. <laughs> what are you doing, Laura? It's further back in the desk. Laura! I knew it. What are you doing? One of the best lines are coming up. <gasps> ha, ha, ha. I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar. Right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Oh, 
put on earth. cutscene like um she knows Mary and but she said that they met a year ago in the hospital, in the hospital. after and she was supposed to be dead that that would mean that Mary died two years before they met <laughs> yeah it doesn't make sense because at this point it's three years and uh another thing is James said, was saying it's dangerous here. I'm surprised you haven't gotten a scratch on you. And then she was like, "Why?" Yeah, like, like there aren't any monsters or yeah. anything. Yeah, like that. that could be because she isn't seeing any monsters because there's there no aren't any. there's no reason for her to see anything. Right. Really weird. Oh, it's too. Old. Yeah, air raid siren. James. James. <laughs> so, my Dylan. Where's your umbrella? Oh, you're right, it is raining. I need an umbrella. Oh, jeez. Are you wearing your rubbers? No, I'm not. <sighs> Gonna catch a cold out there. <laughs> so, uh, the uh, the siren went off. Things turned dark. Yes. And James here was wheeled out into this little area, and the hospital looks a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit. We are now. I can see it. No, it doesn't say. I believe this is known as the Nightmare Hospital. The Nightmare Hospital? Like, there, like there's a nightmare mode or version of places. You're um, saying that the one we were in wasn't the nightmare version? <laughs> no, that was regular. Oh, God. Here's the nightmare version of the hospital. Believe it or not, it could look worse. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get in the elevator just yet. Please let me out. Here we go. So let's start with this door. Nope. Nope. The layout stays the same, but the rooms have changed. Stop twitching. What was that? That was glass breaking. Yes, it was. It wasn't in this room, though. Good. <clears throat> Come from there right now. More bullets, more health. Keep picking up a whole lot of bullets and health. Yep, yeah, that uh, pretty much spells disaster. <laughs> on this floor. 
I think. Better be safe and double check. Do we go out in the garden? Um, not that I know of. Or we we actually started at the garden. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Let me check another floor, looks like. Yep. Next floor. Ding ding, going up. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> so which floor are we on? Uh, first. We are on, yeah, first floor. The ground floor. Ooh. Nothing exciting on the ground floor. Let's go to the second. Second floor. Second floor. Ding! And I hear some rustling. He's rustling in my hospital. <laughs> if you notice, even the, uh, the nurses look a little worse. Mm. If you say so. They look they look a little more shredded up. They look pretty rough to begin with, so. Yeah. Ooh, big room. That's not good. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. Will you open it? Oh. Yes. There's something in there. I'll be happy to open it. James! It won't budge. It's no good. The door's too heavy to open by myself. Hmm. Wait, was there another door in there? Or not? Yes, there was! But, I'll, I'll check that later. In, in just a minute. I want to check all these. Don't want to have these doors still left out. Oh, they're part of it. And more healing supplies and oh, shotgun so shells. Mm. So what does that have me up to? I've only used two this whole game, or three, I think. <laughs> 17 health drinks, 6 first aid kits. Yeah, we're never gonna die. <laughs> What's it? Handgun bullets, first aid kit. Hey. There's a piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. The basement's basement, Dylan. <laughs> it was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring. But I will never, ever go back there. How exactly do you have a basement in your basement? And we have a dry cell battery and the basement storeroom key. Part of the wallpaper is torn. I see something drawn on the wall beneath. Are those hands searching for something? Or are they just a sign of pain? So, we have our our little hint that maybe we should go to the basement's basement, Dylan. Right. And we have a battery. And... Let's get comfortable with that battery because I don't think we're going to be needing it anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so. Let's go this way. It looks like the uh, other side of this room is all blocked up. Which means there's nowhere else to go. Which means third floor time. Excited for the third floor? I'm excited. Get hype. Get hype. Third floor. Hit third floor hype. Up we go. <laughs> Fuck. Maddie. Right. It's 
Zeugs. Zeugs. So there's a little bit going on with that. But there's someone behind us. Oh, that sounded me. by relieving pain effects are powerful. I believe it's just a very strong health item. Okay. I don't really use them. Don't need them. Empule. Scrap of paper on the ground. Just some doodle. Uh, something's written on it. She is an angel. No. She is an angel no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them, sin and sinner alike. She saves me. She is an angel. Hmm. We got some poetry over here. A little bit of poetry. A little bit. So many broken doors. Somebody needs to call a maintenance guy. <laughs> This guy's dead. <laughs> hey, yeah, you want your Silent Hill fixed or not? <laughs> <laughs> Empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? Now, is Maria sick now too? So, he's, uh... He's thinking that Maria might have something similar to what Mary had. Yeah. Because her having to take a rest, feeling sick in the hospital, that's mm -hmm. kind of uh, sort of reliving events when Mary was getting sick. And we got a monster. Monster's on the loose. Yeah. Oh. Luckily, they're slow. Squish. And the lock is broken. Try again, kid. <laughs> okay, I think that's the staircase. Yes, that is the staircase. Let's not use that yet. That is how we get to the basement. Let's check on some of these rooms. First aid kit, shotgun shells, handgun bullets. How many handgun bullets do we have? Oh, there's got to be a bunch. 242. Whoa. Also, <laughs> I still have the three shots from when I was shooting at Pyramid Head in the in the apartment. Might as well reload that. Yeah. We have 39 plus five shotgun oh, ammo. I like you just reload in the in the menu there. Yeah, it's actually a lot quicker if you do it through the menu. So like when you're in the middle of a fight and if you actually have to use your gun a lot, it's mm -hmm. it's quicker and more strategic if you just uh, pause the game and reload it in there. Yeah. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Yep. That room's all blocked, so I believe if we haven't been anywhere else... We can go to the basement's basement. It's time to go to the basement's basement. Which... That's just deep. Hey, I heard you like basements. So I <laughs> so put a basement in your basement. Put a basement under the, underneath that basement. <laughs> <clears throat> no need to go down here. Well, to these doors. We're looking for that basement. That was a spooky noise. Sounds like rats. Oh, rats. OK, 
Okay, so now we're in the basement storeroom. Not right there. much. But push that push that. Has a lot of bloody handprints on it. Yeah, push that. Yeah, James, yeah. James. Mary? Oh, Maria. <laughs> oh. I thought you were sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Hmm. So, uh, again, like any any of the cutscenes so far, there was a lot that, that just happened. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you just take it at face value, she just yelled at him, but obviously there's something going on here. <laughs> And we got the copper ring. Is Laura related to James in any way? Uh, I don't think it's a spoiler if I say no. Okay. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> you have a copper ring now. Yes. And what can you do with that? Uh, if you notice that that door next to the elevator that we found, mm -hmm. it had a like arm sticking out of it. Ah, I put the ring on the arm. Yes, yes, Dylan. Yes, Dylan. That's how it works, Dylan. Good job, that's, Dylan. That's it. That's how it is. Good job. I don't know who built this hospital to work that way, but sure, why not? It's that dang Silent Hill. <laughs> And these Silent Hill contractors just showing up, building... <laughs> yeah, if you, want to, if you want to get in the bathroom, you just put the ring on the finger. You'll find it in the basement basement. <laughs> yeah, you want to get to the basement's basement if you if you uh, gotta, gotta take a leak. <laughs> it's right here. There's a little arm sticking out. Yes. I remember that now. Yeah. Uh, found it in the basement of the hospital. It's engraved with a picture of a spider. Ooh. Spooky. <laughs> okay. But it is still locked. What else does it need? So it looks like we're not done with this puzzle yet. Hmm. Uh, remember the refrigerator? Yes. Oh, now we can open that because we have two people. Yes. Since we have two people. Oh, wait. This is so out of nowhere. Is home to a 
answer. to play that it just gives you some ammo oh so and and there's really nothing special about it it's just you walk up to a uh, to a box and then uh, check mark the the answer or whatever mm. you have to actually remember the or the order that the the answers were given to and all you really get is just some ammo <laughs> It's not, it's not very exciting. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, open the bridge. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. <laughs> Is a girl like me supposed to help? Triggered. <laughs> Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. Ah, another ring. Lead ring. Okay. So, we're not gonna play Trick or Treat. We're just going to go back to the third floor. And put the other one in the hand. And then we'll see what happens after that. Engraved with a disgusting, bloated face. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Hmm. Can't use it. Why not? Are you close enough? I don't know. Or maybe I wasn't facing it right. I'll try it here. There we go. Good. Yay. I heard a little sound. Hey! Now what's through here? Well, nothing that way. We can only go down. What's this? Hard Note. to read writing. I took the director's key to <laughs> the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I am not a criminal. Let's just go down. Ooh, unnaturally long uh, staircase there.
Okay, Dylan, it's time to panic. Let's go. <laughs> ah! Dylan, Mr. Spooky's back. <laughs> Where? I didn't even see him. It's because you, you're not supposed to see him yet, but there he is, there he is, there he is. <laughs> we just have to run. He's got to run. He's, oh, jeez. Oh, he's hot on your heels. Oh, my heels. Oh. oh, get in there. Ah, just leave her. I'm just kidding. Okay, she he has to have caught her by now. Oh. <gasps> Robert. Yeah. Yes, Dylan. Why'd you let that happen? <laughs> I just don't know. And all we're left with is just this slow, sad piano. I can't hear it. Take my word for it, it's slow and it's sad. <laughs> and much like Mary, Maria also died in the hospital. Ah. Nice little parallel there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, are you uh, drawing any conclusions about just what Silent Hill does yet, Dylan? Uh, it's it's hard to explain because I don't think I'm right at all. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like it's taking things from his life, uh -huh. and he's seeing them again. He's reliving them, but. It's in this spooky, nightmarish way. And so, kind of like... Um, oh, go ahead. Oh, so you're saying that Silent Hill makes people relive something that they may, like, regret or whatever? Yeah, like the bad moments in their life. <laughs> like some something that they would consider, like, like bad in, in their right. own life, and then they have to relive it and, like sort of like come to a terms with it yeah, yeah is that is that your yeah I think so you, you, you good Dylan good job good good job good job, okay. job. let me give myself a little clap okay. <laughs> yeah I mean I did give you a little push in the right direction but yeah you were you were spot on cool I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. This is the most, like, not even, like, it's not even like a, a puzzle or anything. Not, it just directly says there's a letter here and a wrench. <laughs> And looks like we gotta get the letter and the wrench. And we got the key to the lobby. Oh, it's in widescreen so you can see her just stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to see that. <laughs> Hospital lobby key. And let's just save. Okay, Dylan, we are now finished with the hospital area. 
Yay. But, but let's just uh, keep on trucking because we got to get to the historical society. Yeah, we got to do it. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has run off somewhere. Mary, what? What should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of talking, or taking? Taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Okay, now it's nighttime at Silent Hill. Ooh. Let's go here. But as usual, we're not really in any immediate danger, even with the monsters. It was kind of like, um, he wanted to save Maria, uh -huh. and, and like the forces of Silent Hill wouldn't let that happen because Mary died in the hospital, so Maria had to die in the hospital. Yeah, that, that's a uh, pretty good conclusion to draw there. Yeah, it's, um, Silent Hill, I think it's safe to say that Silent Hill is a living thing. Yeah. It is some sort of a uh, supernatural force, and it's a little bit more than just a town. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like Silent Hill took the form of the town. Oh, that's a good, yeah. That, that's my interpretation. Like, the, the town was obviously there before. Mm-hmm. But, like, there was a point in time where nothing bad happened. Well, there was always something bad that happened in Silent Hill. That's the history of it. But, like, there was a point where this junk, I don't think it happened. Yeah, like, it was a normal place. Yeah. And then something triggered all this... That's the mystery of Silent Hill. They don't, they don't tell you everything. Just I'm really bummed out that the uh, the new one got canceled. Oh yeah, that was gonna be pretty good, I believe. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Just going down the street, sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Way back. <laughs> I should probably check the map. Let's see. Uh, I think I gotta go down Saul Street, actually. Better call Saul. Better call Saul. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm going down Saul Street. You didn't look both ways before you crossed that road. <laughs> I thought... You sent a bad example out there. I thought that I missed Saul Street or something. I thought you noticed something <laughs> that I didn't. <laughs> Alright, this is the right way. We're not in danger, but this is some weird stuff. This is the only time these monsters show up. They just kind of look like the leg ones upside down. Sort of. They're like really, they have like really big arms or something. And these monsters, <laughs> these monsters are actually in Silent Hill 3. That's where they live. <laughs> they have big arms. They have the biggest arms. So swole. <laughs> They've been lifted. Oh. Yeah, hop and look, Camper. Okay. Yo, Mr. White, we gonna hop in here? <laughs> <laughs> Get in here, Jesse. <laughs> There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. 
Barneelys? Barneelys. What's that? I don't know. What is the Riddler here? Something? Is leaving clues around like this? <laughs> yeah. That dang Riddler. Just ammo laying on the street. <laughs> Thanks, Silent Hill. <laughs> no wonder people don't live here. <laughs> there is one place that I would like to go to, but I can't exactly remember where it is, but it's just a neat little thing that has nothing to do with anything. That was rifle shells, by the way. Ah, we don't have a rifle yet. No. Okay. I think it could be around here. But there is... a little, like, grocery store, I think. And it has a really neat thing. Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Yay. This has nothing to do with anything, but it's so weird. Okay. There's a hole here. It's gone now. There was a hole here. It's gone now. What? Oh, there's more. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Oh. This is just a little place that's super easy to overlook. Yeah. And it's so creepy. Ugh. Just to see this. And I just love this message. <laughs> there was a hole <laughs> there was a hole here. It's gone now. What is what is even going on there? Hmm. What could it mean? I've never seen like any interpretations of that and I have no idea what to make of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was Neely's bar. Oh, that's what the note said. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, that was just a little a little hint that there's something there. Yeah. And let's go up this way. And this isn't it, but there's a little health drink. Why not pick up the 50th one? May as well. You never know when you're going to need 50 of them. <laughs> going the right way. Okay, yeah, just around the corner. These streets are very large. Yeah, they are. Big town. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just like they said, there's a letter and a wrench. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman inside the ground, inside the box. To open it, I need a wrench. I like all that. Just inside of this, inside of this. <laughs> inside the ground, inside of a box. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I wasn't looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled. But the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Hmm, so who wrote the letter? I'm not sure. There's someone directly talking to James through these messages. Yeah. And that I think that makes it even more creepier. Mm-hmm. That he's being spoken to by name by unknown forces here. Alright. We're going... We're going to Rosewater Park. It's a long run down Cat Street. Uh, yeah. 
A pet center. Pet center? You want to go get a get a dog? Yeah. You want to go get a pet? Let's go get a kitty. Uh, I don't want to disappoint you, Dylan, but I think I think they might be dead or something. Nah. Nah, they're probably fine. You know what? On the way out of Silent Hill, let's stop at the pet center. Maybe. Maybe, maybe they'll be open. I don't think they're open this late. Has some more ammo and health. I really don't need it. Oh, but you do. I'm not turning around to get it. You don't have nearly enough. I'll never have enough. <laughs> Running through town. I need me some of that that story. Story. There we go. This is outside of the apartments. Ah, uh, the apartments. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times, but I don't want to get in there. Ah! <gasps> the door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Well, where is it at? <laughs> Let's go through it. <laughs> Alright. The door that wakes in darkness, opening in nightmares. Nothing creepy about that. No. Okay, so let's just go north. Lovely. Use the swish and flick. Swish and flick. <laughs> it's Levioso. <laughs> Levioso. <laughs> it's Levioso. Not Levioso. <laughs> Shut up, Hermione. Uh. <laughs> you go cry in the bathroom and. and Wait for a troll to come get you. Fine, maybe I will. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, we gotta find the statue of the praying woman. We're back in Rosewater Park here. I believe it's right over here. If I'm wrong, you can call me a liar, Dylan. I will. <laughs> You're really looking forward to that one. Oh, is it not there? Uh, wait, Dylan, wait. It was it not there? It's around here somewhere. Right here. Haha. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> I knew you'd do it regardless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think he digs it out by hand. I don't think I have anything to dig with. The ground is raised up only here. Could there be something under here? Yes, I will dig. Under the woman, under the ground. Uh, inside the woman, inside the ground, inside the box. <laughs> frog in the lock. <laughs> in the hole in the bottom of Lake Toluca. Toluca Lake. Toluca Lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Menacing. Who's that wrench? Small metal box is fastened by bolt. Bolts. I can't open the lid. <laughs> Old bronze key. Huh. Well, where could that go? I believe it can go to the historical society. Ooh. You ready to rub elbows with the uh, the gents at the historical society? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Prepare the caviar. <laughs> Silent Hill's finest. <laughs> It's just a straight. Yeah, we just gotta go straight until we hit the historical society. I had the first Silent Hill downloaded on my PS3, but I never 
Uh, never got through it. Yeah, and now one, I'm now little... thinking I might go back to it. Yeah, that one's that one's a toughie. Either that, or I might just get the second one. Even though you're playing it, I kind of want to play it. Yeah, it's fantastic. And also, um, I I am playing this on the a very original PS1 version. So, you know, like I said before, when they released the greatest hits version, they did add uh, a bit more content, and they also added um, that whole other side, uh, <clears throat> like DLC story. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there's like a collection. Yeah, there is that HD collection, but, you know, I've, I've told you about that. I'm not yeah. going to go into not going to go into that because that'll take a while. <laughs> and we're almost at the Historical Society. And here we are at the Historical Society. Mm, yeah, it's quiet. Mm, quiet. Pip pip and all that. Mm, yes, Cheerios. <laughs> 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 so let's look around. This is, uh, there's some art in here, or so I've heard. Mm, yeah, taking some fine art. Mm, yes. Photo of the director of the old, old Brook, Brookhaven Hospital. It looks like he was a famous person in town. Did anyone tell him his hospital sucks? <laughs> there's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What can this be? A hole? Well, it's there right now. It, I mean, it tells you in, in, in a little explanation there. Ooh. Let's not go down there just yet. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Oh, oh, you see some see some art that you like? No, I wouldn't say like. Oh, it's Mr. Spooky. Misty Day, Remains of the Judgment. What is he? It's him. <laughs> uh, th there's... I mean, does it ever tell in the game, or...? Um... There'll be a point where you can... You've been doing a pretty good job at, uh, deciphering the clues and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So, uh... When we get to a certain point where I feel like, yeah, this is this is exactly who he is, let's uh discuss that. Okay. We'll talk about that then. But look at this deep dark hole here. It's a hole. A hole that goes to a staircase. It's a hole. It's a hole. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I, I. I'm. I'm just too scared right now, Dylan. I. I think we're gonna have to wait. Wait. I think we're just gonna. Have, I think we're gonna have to wait a little while before I can muster up the courage. It is pretty spooky down there. It's scary. I. I don't. I can't do it, Dylan. I'm, I, 